Gunditch Mara country on Victoria's southwest coast, where whale watchers from far and wide gather every winter to try and catch a glimpse of migrating giants as they travel from Antarctica to warmer northern waters. But for the local Gunditch Mara people, the whales are so much more than annual visitors. Blue whales, humpbacks, and the southern right whales, known to the Gunditch Mara as Kuntavu. Here, the whales are ocean family, and the Gunditch Mara are worried about their family. We feel it when there's damage done to our country. We feel it when our kin are, are yelling out to us, singing out to us for help and they don't have the same voice that we have. So we have to really speak loud and make ourselves heard um, in protection of our ocean kin. Yaren Bundle is a Gunditjmara whale dreaming custodian. And we've met where the Hopkins River meets the Southern Ocean near Warrnambool, a place where ancient pathways known as songlines meet. But a new, very different chapter in the history of the songlines is being written now. The oil and gas multinational Conoco Phillips has plans to explore for undersea gas through seismic blasting, using powerful underwater blasts of compressed air to survey the seabed. And so that's going to disrupt all marine life in the area, from the zooplankton right up to the blue whales, and all life in between. There's going to be a major impact on our our family, our clan, our country, and our songlines, which are the most sacred, important connection that we have to our country. And the whale songline extends all the way through our sea country. The song that we're trying to protect, and we need to have this song in the world. We say absolutely no to seismic blasting in our sea country. Along the coastline at Apollo Bay, I meet Jack Pascoe of You and Ancestry from the south coast of New South Wales, where whale song lines are also treasured and stretch back millennia. Jack has lived on Gunditjmara country most of his life and feels a deep connection to this spectacular coastline and the whales that linger and pass each year. There's been a, a real history in the Otway Basin of um, out off the coast here of, of prospecting for, for gas. And they use that technique of blasting large amounts of sounds towards the sea floor. We're concerned that uh, we don't know enough about the impact of seismic blasting, both on, on the food sources that, that our whales rely upon, but also on uh, their movements and their being moved off and towards these, these loud sounds. And we know it influences the way that the whales move on their migratory songlines. And what, you know, what impact does that have on these ancient songlines that have been in place for so forever? In my hands, I hold a piece of whale bone and a song stone given to me by the Mirtich, Mering, the ocean, our sea country. And part of the message that I'd like to share to everybody but especially the gas industry and the state and federal governments, that these are ancient waters, not yours to destroy. Respect the ancient past, honour the present and protect the future.